I'm going to cycle this engine over without cycling the glow plug, and we're going to look for smoke. I'm hoping that it doesn't start. It is kind of warm in here, but it should actually uh, throw some smoke out, but it hopefully won't start. There's the smoke. If I have smoke, that tells me I'm getting fuel. It's still not starting. I go to options two and three. First one is, am I meeting minimum cranking speed? This engine should be cranking fast enough. That's a pretty decent speed for it. Then I'm going to go to my cold starting aid. Is my cold starting aid working? And I say, oh, well, I didn't even use the cold starting aid, so maybe I'll use it this time. Go to the on position. The light comes on, and I'm going to wait till the light goes off. You'll hear it click, and the light will go off. And it's still on. That's the difference between using the glow plugs and not. This engine here tends to need glow plugs, even though it's 65 in here pretty much all day long. 65 degrees, I still needed to glow, use the glow plugs to operate this and get it to run. And so it's important to understand what you have for a cold starting age, and it needs to work. If I was to wait and the light went out and I tried to start it and it still wouldn't start, I probably want to notify someone. I've tried this, I've cycled the glow plug several times, it's still not starting. Well, maybe one or two of the glow plugs is not working. If the light doesn't come on at all, you don't see the glow plug light, you've turned it to on, it's not working, then there's also some other problem in the system and the light didn't come on because there's not a complete circuit. So you would want to notify someone there is a problem there. So it should start the first time if you use the glow plugs or the second time. <coughs> We're going to go down to the John Deere. Oh, at, hold on. I'm going to show you guys this here how it works. Now, this is going to blow up, so I'm no, just, just kidding. I think this is a good spark or a glow plug. So if I want to test to see if it's any good, the way this thing works is I put 12 volts. I put power into the threaded part of this. The threads that you screw into the head, that's the ground. I have to have a circle, a complete circuit. And so the threads are actually my ground. And so I'm going to put the negative on the threads. And the positive I'm going to put on the, the threads. And this, if you start counting, it should actually glow red within between 10 and 30 seconds. Most glow plugs, there's different glow plugs, and the speed that they glow, is a di the different numbers mean how fast they glow. Some glow in 10 seconds, some 20, some 30, some in 60 seconds. But most, most glow plugs are within 30 seconds. That means that the, the injectors actually shoot the fuel right on top of the piston. They don't have that little pre-combustion chamber that's, that comes out. And because of that, we can't put glow plugs into the system. So in order to come up with a different way of, of preheating the engine and allowing us to heat, they had to come up with something new. So what they're going to use on this engine is called an intake heater. And I've taken the air hose off of this. And this little block here is my intake heater. You see the wire coming up? It attaches. There's a thread there. This is what it looks like. If I was to take it out and look at it on the end, it's like a toaster oven. And the idea is when I hit the glow plugs, it's not actually activating glow plugs. It's activating this intake heater. These wires will glow red hot. And when I crank the engine over, the air will pass through these and it will suck warm air into the engine. So I'm actually just drawing, I'm preheating the air before it actually gets into the engine, trying to get that temperature up so that I can actually fire this engine off. And this engine, just by its very nature, will start down to about zero degrees with no preheating. It's just that design. Some engines will do that. Some engines at 70 degrees, you have to preheat them some way. So this one doesn't. But I'm going to cycle the, the heating system. If you come up here and look in here, You'll actually see it. You can actually feel it. Give it a minute. You'll actually feel the heat before you actually see it. But I'll hold it. I'll hold it long enough, and you'll actually see. It'll actually turn orange.
There it's starting to turn orange finally. If you shade it with your hands, you can really see it, but now it's hot enough that you get your little um, ma marshmallows out, you can actually <laughs> roast a marshmallow. You want to come see? That's It rubs on here. So I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to start it, but... I'm going to wait, I'm going to count to 10 seconds, I'm going to count to 20 seconds, and I'm going to crank it. It's going to draw that heat into this engine, and it will allow it to start easier. All I'm trying to do is give it a kick. So if I'm cranking, I'm listening for minimum cranking speed. I'm looking for smoke, just like I did that one. And then if it doesn't start the first time, what kind of starting aid do I have? How can I activate it? If I was to shoot ether, this is my intake, this is your... Uh, Air filter comes down. Does anybody know what this is? Uh, this, this is my air filter. Catalytic converters are in the exhaust system. So what would this be? This is an air cleaner. Tube comes out of the air cleaner, goes in the bottom of this, comes back out, comes out up here.